In this video, I'll take you through creating a simple model, how to shade it, and setting up the necessary files to make it work on MTA. If you are on version 2018 or above, for GTA materials to work, set to max legacy and restart 3DS Max. I am working in meters as units. When working on the model, keep in mind that a player collision is roughly 1 meter wide, long and 2 meter tall. Start by creating a 50 by 50 plane with no segments. Remember to center it to scene by moving it to 0 and XYZ. Add an edit poly modifier and extrude the border. I want it exactly 15 meters tall, so I will go ahead and adjust the Z value to specify the exact height. I want some boxes to be distributed around the ground. Think of it as a player versus player map. Their exact dimensions does not matter much. I do want some obstacles though and they should be 2 to 2.5 meters tall so that players can climb them. Some can be taller than 2 meters so that they can be used as cover. This looks great now. Select the primary box and all of the primitive boxes and clone and hide them. We will need them for later. To merge everything together, select the plane and attach all boxes. I have a car park ground texture that I will apply to the model. I would like the texture to be tiled a little more. Add a UVW map modifier and adjust to your liking. It's time to shade the model. Without any shading the model will look the same as if we were to change the scene shading to flat colors. Add a vertex paint modifier and with vertex color channel selected, bake your scene shading into your face colors. Create four lights, one in each corner, and set one side to blue and one to red. Add a second vertex paint modifier and bake scene lighting into your face colors. Set the lights layer to vivid light blend. And the base layer to a strength of 50. It is possible to set up better lighting by using radiosity with vertex colors, which generally produces lighting and shadows of greater detail than directly baking lighting without radiosity. Or you could use light maps using dual texture maps plugged into the second UV channel. But these methods will be covered in future videos. Export the DFF model using the Heroes plugin. Head into File, Export DFF and give it a file name. Untick Vertex Normals and Light Flag, and tick Vertex Prelights. Right-click Viewport and unhide everything. Hide the model that you were just exporting. Remove any modifiers that are on top of the primitive boxes so that they can be used as collision boxes. These perform better than polygonal boxes and collisions. Choose the primary box, the walls and floor, as collision mesh because it is a polygonal mesh. Hide the lights. and then select the mesh along with the primitive boxes and apply a collision material with a brightness value of 100. And export to collision. Create a text file and rename extension to txt. Configure the txt. Import your image and compress in DXT1. Save the TXT.
change the three files to the ID they are replacing. Load the three files into your MTA mod loader. Edit the .lua and .xml script. Start your server and then start the model loader. Create the object with MTA Map Editor.